Hello and welcome to Out and About. I'm Diane Gonzalez. Lincoln's largest free music festival is making a big change this year. The 8th Annual Veterans Freedom Music Festival, Saturday, June 23rd, is moving to the rail yard on Canopy Street. And here with all the details is the chair of the event, Dave Polson. Dave, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Appreciate Dave, it. Dave, tell us how this festival got started. Well, this is the 8th Annual VFMF, and uh, Terry Gillespie and Dave Rusk are two veterans that had a wild idea to have a little music festival out at the VA, just south of 70th and O. And and it started out, I forget the, the first time, maybe two to three hours, and then it grew into virtually a 10 to five event with different bands playing every hour. And uh, this year we have six bands playing. And um, it's, it's really to thank veterans and their families and uh, give them a time to come enjoy great, a uh, great variety of music. I mean, it's all over the board, which I'll get to in a minute. And uh, there will be people there from the Veterans Administration, from the VFW, the American Legion, the DAV, the uh, Blind Veterans Association. Uh, a lot of veteran selected groups will be there with information to talk to people, uh, sign people up and so forth and so on. So it's really an information fair, but it's turned into a music and information fair. And it's free, of course. And we've uh, branded that lately, past few years, as Lincoln's largest music festival, which it really largest is. Largest free music festival. Free festivals. music festival. There you That's go. a magic word. <laughs> so, why so did why did you decide to change venues this year? Because you were out at the VA on 70th Street. We were. Uh, it grew into be such a big event with dozens and dozens and dozens of volunteers. We're all volunteers. To put up a 40 pup tent, or 10 by 10 fly tents to uh, move 20 tables and chairs and uh, just the event was so physical to do that we ran out of volunteers uh, because a lot of them had been doing it for seven years. Mm -hmm. And uh, our former chair, Ed Mock, who was, who's been there the last three years, was so good and he was so organized to get everybody working together. Well, he's retired, uh, you know, and he deserves to be retired to be with his family. And so it, it turned up briefly we weren't going to have the event. And then I said, we can't let this stop. Seventh, we've been seven years. So I called a few people and uh, rang a few phones and harassed a few people. And we got it in the rail yard. And we're working with the management team, Brian and Kim down there. Very, very nice to work with. Very easy to work with. And we are a nonprofit, so they're very good to us and it kind of fell together. The only opening date was June 23rd. And we had to double check that date to make sure that there wasn't a big concert at the Pinnacle mm -hmm. Arena, which would have complicated or maybe negated it. And uh, so it was open, 1030 to five, and there we are. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. <laughs> it's a great venue for, for a music festival like this. Let's, let's kind of run down the activities for the day. Things start off at 10.30 a.m. with the opening ceremonies. Yeah, 10.30, 10.45, we'll present the colors. And then our new, uh, the first band that starts playing at Enigma at 11, um, and it's, it's a man or woman, but Carolyn Olson is the singer, and she's gonna sing the national anthem. Oh, great. And I've seen her on YouTube. Oh, wow, what a voice. And uh, so she's gonna kick it off like that, and then they'll, they'll play for the first 55 minutes. And uh, the interesting thing this year is because of a number of people, um, we're building a stage, a three-foot stage, right below the cube. And uh, we're going to move people. We're blocking off Canopy Street, and the bands can come in and unload and load literally 20 feet away from the stage. And it's already going to be preset with amplifiers, speakers, uh, even a drum set if the drummer wants to play that drum set. So it's going to be very easy for the bands to get in and out. If you're so a guitar there player, there won't be a lot of downtime between the bands. No, then. no, and that's been the case in, with our old stage because you had to undo the band. Mm -hmm. That took five, ten minutes, and then you had to put the band up, and they had to tune and set the drums up and all this kind of thing. So there was a little, uh, just physically, a little wasted time, uh, which we couldn't help. And this year, it's going to be. Music, music, music. Music, music. Well, you mentioned yeah. Enigma. Let's run through the bands and tell me 
um, briefly what kind of music they play. All right, I've got to check my notes here. <laughs> okay. Because, uh, some we'll let of these, you. They, but Enigma is a rock, pop, blues, neo folk, and tunes that are differently uh, different to classify. But it, it's a, a man, a woman, and they, they're really very good. I love the name of the noon band, Three Chords and a Cloud of Dust. This is Dave Rusk, who started, okay. helped start it with Terry Great. Gillespie. Uh, this is his band, and, and I've got to read this. They're a, it's Three Chords and a Cloud of Dust. And they're a bunch of veterans, okay, they're all veterans. It's a folksy, down-home, laid-back, front porch, picking, good-time, classic, old-time country music. Wonderful. They'll be strumming and humming, and they've got banjos and guitars. And that sounds great. They're a fun group. And One o'clock is Hard Knocks. And they're classic rock. Okay. They're going to smoke it good, and, and they're, they're really going to be, they're good. And uh, then we've got the Pinkertones, and this is their fourth or fifth time by being there. And they play 60s music up to current hits. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're just great musicians, like all of these people. And then we have Loose Affiliation, and they're a Red Dirt and Southern Rock-inspired original band with definitive covers. So they'll be rocking pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and the last one, you're going to wrap up 4 o'clock with Chicken Fried Moses. Now, Chicken Fried Moses has been at our former uh, festivals once, if not twice. But if, if you're going to be there any time during the day, come at 4 o'clock, they're Southern Rock and Country Rock, and they kick it. <laughs> They and these are all local kick, bands. They're all local bands. They're doing it for no charge because we don't have the budget to pay them. They're very nice to donate their time. Uh, and all the time during this, uh, from 1045 to, to 5 o'clock, and then, well, at 5, we close with taps. We, we take the colors down, and then we have taps. And, uh, but the music's going to be great every hour. I mean, there's not a bad one in the bunch. And uh, if you're interested in any kind of veterans, information. Uh, the VA from Lincoln will be there. The VA from Omaha will be there. And as I mentioned, we'll have nearly 20 tables of veteran-related organizations, the Marine Corps, uh, the Marine Wonderful. League, and so forth. So we invite all veterans uh, of every age and uh, all men and women and their families. I mean, this, again, it's a thank you to the veterans. It's free. Uh, it's in the rail yard, which again is a new venue. Right, and you mentioned some of the vendors there will be offering veterans discounts yes, on, yes. on food. Some of the restaurants will be offering discounts to veterans that day, which is very nice of them to do. So uh, a veteran's family or a veteran can come on down, have something to eat. They may want to have a little something to cool their you know, thirst <laughs> a little bit and uh, enjoy some just great music. All right, let's so. give people the, the rundown here. The 8th Annual Veterans Freedom Music Festival, 1030 to f about 530, Saturday, June 23rd in the rail yard. It is free. For more information, you want to check out vfmf.net. They do have some chairs down on the rail yard, but if you want to bring your own lawn chair, you're perfectly welcome to do that. The important thing that you want to bring is a can of food for the Lincoln Food Bank for the Veterans Food Pantry. This is also a Keep Nebraska Beautiful veteran, or Litter Free, I was going to say Veterans Free event. Yeah. Lots of veterans there, but this is a Keep Nebraska Beautiful Litter Free event. And uh, Dave, I want to wrap up by just talking about how you got involved in this, in this project. Well, Dave Rusk, I've known him. Uh, he's been in the media here in Lincoln, newspaper, radio, TV for probably 30 years. So I've known him throughout those times. And he's just the best guy you'll ever want to meet. And he, I shouldn't say this, but he twisted my arm <laughs> about five years ago. And I've been doing the PR for it and uh, doing personal appearances and so forth like that to help promote it. But it's such a good deal. And I'm a veteran. Uh, I was in the Army back in the old days. And uh, everybody involved is a volunteer veteran. And that's the cool thing about it. Uh, a lot of Vietnam vets. A lot of, uh, a few uh, Korean War vets, the World War II's are just a little out there. Uh, and uh, we've got uh, Afghan, you know, we have all kinds of, of vets, all ages, but uh, we want to see the younger vets because the VA here in Lincoln is one of the best in the country. That's a fact. And in Omaha too, it's, it's uh, uh, Southeast Iowa and Northeast Nebraska, this unit here. and. Uh, they, they do wonders, and they get results quicker. And uh, I've talked to veterans that 
came here from Texas that needed new teeth. And he said he was waiting a year in Texas. He came to Lincoln, went to our VA, and within 30 days he had his teeth uh, that got knocked out during combat. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a great VA. And we want all vets, especially the new ones, they're a little gun shy, no pun intended, but for the first two or three years they get back from a deployment, a lot of times they don't, they don't necessarily want to go out to the VA but they would love to have you and, and uh, uh, it, it would just make a world of difference for many of them. And so. it's, it's, it's always a good time to say thank you to our veterans. Oh, that's absolutely. For sure. So, and this is a fun way to do that at the Veterans Music Festival, Saturday, June 23rd in the rail yard. Again, bring your lawn chair, bring a can of food and enjoy some great local music. Dave, thank and you so much for your I involvement. Will. One, one quick thing, we will have extra chairs if people, if they want to bring their lawn chair, obviously th they can. Um, and then we've got Canopy Street blocked off, but disabled uh, cars can come in and, and uh, unload their passengers. They can't park there because we don't have enough room. But, uh, so we want to make it as user friendly as possible. All right, again, VFMF Veterans Freedom Music Festival. That's the website, vfmf.net. We hope you have um, beautiful weather on oh, June yes. 23rd and a big crowd down there in the rail yard. We do too, and thank you very much for thank letting you, us Dave. be on your and show. And thank you for your service. Oh, happy to do it. All right. And when we come back, we will be visiting with Jeff Mall at the Convention and Visitors Bureau. Well, a lot of what we're going to talk about is more music here in Lincoln. But uh, first, we're going to take a look at what's coming up at the Lancaster Event Center. Stay with us. Welcome back to Out and About. Jeff Mall joins us now from the Convention and Visitors Bureau. And one of the things that makes Lincoln so much fun in the summer is all the traditions, the annual events that come back. And one is the Uncle Sam Jam! Uncle exclamation Sam mark. Jam! Again taking place on July 3rd. Yes. Gives people a chance to get out and celebrate the 4th of July a day early and enjoy Oak Lake Park, a lot of the great hands-on activities. Food, fun, music, a great production by the City of Lincoln. Congratulations on oh, this. Well, it's John Taylor in yeah. our office who puts all this together. Soul Dog great. is going to be back great to music. help people get into the mood. And then the fireworks, of course, will be, uh, will be, what do we call, simulcast. You can hear the music that goes with the fireworks on B107 yep. and all those stations. Yep, and just turn on it in your car, at home, wherever you want to be, if you're within an eye shot or an ear shot of of Oak Lake, you can enjoy the fireworks and music at the same time. All right, you stop as a sponsor this year. Pepsi always sponsors the big fireworks show, so it's lots of fun out at Oak Lake Park. I hear the weather's going to be beautiful. So yeah, long range go. forecast says sunny and 75. All right, while you're celebrating the 4th of July, you might want to check out European Motorcycle Night that same night in the historic Haymarket. This is every Wednesday, April through October. Yeah, the oh, sorry. First Wednesdays, April through October. Yeah, and they take over all of 8th Street from P to Q for the most part. Both sides of the street, great European motorcycles, a lot of great fun going on in the Haymarket. Great chance to enjoy coffee, food, fun, a brew or two if you'd like, and just enjoy some nostalgia with European Bike Night. All right, and we're going to kind of stay in that same area and talk about Salt Dogs Baseball. Now, they're going to be away on July 4th, but they've got some great games coming up. And they have fireworks also at some of these games. The 
June 8th, June 22nd, and June 29th. You can have some fireworks out at Haymarket Park and cheer on the dogs. Yeah, log on to saltdogs.com for great promotions each and every night. What's neat about Lincoln Salt Dogs Baseball, not a bad seat in the house. You mentioned the Haymarket. Come down, enjoy a bite to eat maybe in the Haymarket or go over the footbridge a little bit later on. Just follow the Lincoln Bridge and that will get you to and from Haymarket Park. All right, let's talk about another great summer tradition mm -hmm. and that's roller skating in the capital city. We're known for roller skating. We have the museum we here. We do. I mean, the Who News segment, right? Who knew <laughs> we had a roller skating museum in Lincoln? We of course do because we have a long-standing relationship with USA Roller Sports and their 2018 National Championships will be out at Speedway Village out in West Lincoln, kind of south and west of here. Uh, the event itself will feature five disciplines and this is the biggest roller sports event in the United States each year has around a 7.5 to $8 million economic wow. impact on our community. These folks are with us for over 30 days, and I'll tell you, roller skating, whether it's figure skating, speed skating, inline hockey, slalom, roller derby, it's all gonna be featured during the Roller Skating Championship. So you can visit teamusa.org um, backslash roller sports, or you can log on to lincoln.org and we can give you plenty of information on that. 4,000 athletes, coaches, and officials. So if you see any of those folks around town, make sure they feel welcome and we want them to come back every year. We do, we're working on it. All right, you're kind of a car guy, aren't I am. you? Yes. You're probably gonna head out to Air Park for the Formula SAE. Yes, this is the Collegiate Student Design Competition. This year we welcome nine international countries and over 35 states to Lincoln. Uh, these are college students that design formula-based race cars from the ground up, and these college uh, students get a chance to get the car out on the track. It has to start, it has to brake, it has to accelerate. And this is where a lot of engineering students get their first jobs. And most of the automobile manufacturers will be here for the entire event. Wow. They're scouting for new employees. And we get a chance to go out and judge because we work with this group each and every year. And for me to go out and judge on the marketing and sales side and even some of the more showman type character, uh, characteristics of a car is just so much fun. Because these students, again, blood, sweat, and tears to get it from mm -hmm. the ground up from a piece of paper to a rolling automobile is a pretty amazing thing. Do you get a ride? I have, yes. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. You sit on the ground, they're basically go-karts for the most part right. when they start, but then they grow into a full-size car and it's, it's real neat. It's a cool deal. It is. All right, our theme of tradition continues with Pinewood Bowl's 69th annual summer musical. This summer, it's Legally Blonde. That's right, the story of Ellie Woods as she tackles stereotypes and scandal in pursuit of her dreams. The 69th annual summer musical, Legally Blonde at Pinewood Bowl. And uh, the weather out there can be a little hot, so make <laughs> sure you uh, Bring some cool drinks, buy some cool drinks out there at the bowl and, and yes. just enjoy yourself. Plenty of good parking too. That's right, that's right. All right, Flatwater Shakespeare is back in the parks and back at the Swan this summer. This summer is The Tempest, uh, starring Dick Nielsen, one of the finest actors in town. This will be a lot of fun. They'll spend two weekends at the Swan Theater at Wayuka Cemetery, and then the next four at Lincoln Parks, Belmont, Cooper, Trago, and Havelock. The production each time is about 75 minutes, mm -hmm. Pretty short and sweet for the most part with no intermission. That's right. They kind of changed things up a, a little bit this yeah. year. There'll still be free ice cream in the park. Oh, so. Great stuff. Thank you, Ivana Cohn. Yes. All right. Celebrate Lincoln Music Festival. We talked about the, uh, the Veterans Music Festival a little earlier in the mm -hmm. show. This is the weekend before that. Celebrate Lincoln is coming to, uh, to the rail yard. Yeah, Friday night will be Purple Experience. This is a tribute to Prince. Should be a lot of fun, a lot of purple, a lot of great Prince music along Let's the way. Let's go crazy. Let's get nuts, right? <laughs> um, a lot of things going on. And then Saturday night, we'll switch to country. Cadillac 3 and Parmalee will perform. Rail Yard, great production, great partnership with local businesses here in Lincoln. All right. Nothing says summer tradition more than the Lincoln Municipal Band's Summer Concert Series. This has been going on for over wow. 100 years. This is a really cool deal. It's kind of a kind of an old-fashioned Sunday night in the park with uh, the Lincoln Municipal Band, and they have a theme for the summer, starting out with patriotic, then mm -hmm. uh, songs from the movies, mm -hmm. picnic in the park, Sunday, fun day. Uh, check it all out. These, uh, these uh, concerts go through August 12th. 12th. Yes, so. artsincorporated.org for more information. All right, Capital Jazz, Monday nights at Blue Blood. They're always... Uh, cranking up the tunes down there at Blue Blood. 
It's a neat venue outside, actually. It's outside Blue Blood Brewery, and they have a nice little tent area set up, and a lot of great music. First uh, Monday Jazz Jam, Monday Night Big Band, and first Monday Jazz Jam as we get ourselves through the month of July. And more jazz. This is the biggest month for jazz in Lincoln because it's jazz in June, bringing some of the great talent from locally, regionally, nationally, right there to the Sheldon uh, Sculpture Garden. That's right, UNL's campus. The event is free, and this is what we call Free Tuesdays with Jazz in June. Okay, and, then, and they have a farmer's market yes, before yes. that. Get a little fun, a little yep. food. Get your food. Uh, Foundation Garden Performance Series continues on Wednesdays. You know we have music every day of the week. We do. Sunday right. is Municipal Band. Monday's Capital Jazz. Tuesday's Jazz in June. Wednesday is Foundation Garden. So make sure you come down to the garden, bring your lunch, have some popcorn, enjoy uh, live music, an hour of live music every Wednesday from noon to one. What a great uh, work oh, break. What a great venue. You'll see a lot of business people in their tennis shoes walking down, maybe grabbing a bite to eat and enjoying some great music. Hey, Crabgrass Bluegrass taking to the stage June 27th. Mm -hmm. I'm circling that one right now. <laughs> That's the one I plan to hit. Should be a lot of fun. All right. Thursday nights then, it's the KZUM concert series at Stransky Park. Boy, they've got a great lineup this year. It's their largest yet. Some nights they even have more than one band. They do. June 7th, the Root Marm Chicken Farm Jug Band and Jackie Allen. Domestic Blend and Girana on June 14th. And things just go all the way through July 12th. Thank you so much to the folks at KZUM Radio for reviving and putting a little bit more energy into the KZUM Summer Music Series at Stransky Park. Great rural, or actually it's a, it's a city setting. Almost feels mm -hmm. like you're in a, in a, in a yep. rural area in a park that's set back in the grass. All right, and they've got art activities for kids from the nonprofit Art Reach Project. Yep. So make sure you check that out. All right, we're all the way to Fridays, and that means Friday Night Lights at South Point. Opportunity to bring out a lawn chair, a blanket, some takeout from local businesses in the South Point area. Enjoy some free music from 6.30 to 8.30. The event is free in the courtyard or the pavilion at South Point Pavilions. And there's a lot of variety out there. As you saw, there was some flamenco, some dance pop. Music of the Beatles is the June 22nd come together. So that'll be fun. And I love the name of this. Blue House with the Rent to Own Horns. <laughs> That's July 6th. Oh, Make I sure love, you check them out. I love it. All right, Auburn Music also has a summer series. They've got three events coming up that you don't want to miss. Requiem, free home performance by the Plymouth Choir before they hit the road. They have a big performance in Washington, D.C. At the Kennedy Center, this again will be on June 13th, 7 o'clock, first, first Plymouth Church. The event is free to the public. All right, the Raleigh Ringers are coming. This is an acclaimed concert handbell choir, and they'll be passing through Lincoln. They do sacred, secular, and popular music. So you know, there used to be a day where we couldn't get people to stop in Lincoln. Now they're making the point to stop through Lincoln, do a performance on their way to some of the bigger stages across the country. That's right. And then June 27th, uh, another free performance, David Vaughn Barron. He's a Nebraska native, and he's got a lot of talents, organ, vocals, piano, violin. Right now he's studying at the Yale School of Music, so welcome him back to showcase his multitude of talents. Yeah, great so. guy to go out and see. All right. A fun event, if you're into science, is Science Cafe. Eat, drink, talk science. This event itself will be at the Happy Raven in downtown Lincoln. There will be items for purchase. Event is a 21 and over age group. They'll discuss the research and possible mechanisms through which natural environments have positive effects on both children and adults. Come and discuss brain and nature at the Happy Raven. A good way to learn and have a good time at the same time. It is. We'll see how those two things work together. All right. Moral Hall has some of its usual kids' events coming up. Sunday with a scientist, of course. Sunday, June 24th is uh, the date this, this month. It's a great opportunity this month to enjoy paleontology and interact with the scientists themselves. It's more than just getting up and hearing someone lecture. They're going to interact with you when they're there. So a great hands-on opportunity at Moral Hall. And Pop-In Storytime is going to feature the moon and the stars. It's a great time of year to go out and do some stargazing. This is perfect for the kiddos ages 3 to 5, so this is for the younger audience. Should be a lot of fun again over at Morrill Hall. And then the Investigate Second Saturday Science Lab is going to look at gardens and grids this month. That's right. On the second Saturday of every month from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., you and your family will be able to investigate a variety of science and natural history topics. And as you mentioned, Garden and Grid should be a very hands-on activity for the kids. We also want to mention at Morrill Hall, Thursday nights are free in July. So if you haven't been to Morrill Hall for a while, get the kids together and head out to Elephant Hall and see all the exhibits. We'll call this a night at the museum and hopefully everything just stays as it is and nothing comes alive at the museum. <laughs> that would be, I that would be fun. It. That would be fun. Right. That would be fun. All right, Children's Museum is giving moms a chance to have a date with their 
with their kids, grandmas. This is it's the your fa your this is your chance to take your favorite little man out on the town. Yeah, get him dressed up. Yeah. Put him in a suit and tie. This is kind of a great date night at the Children's Museum. Well, I'm not sure some kids would probably see that as punishment. No, they'd be like, <laughs> where are we going, Mom? Let them know they're going to the Children's Museum and build some great family memories. All right. Children's Zoo has several events coming mm -hmm. up. They always have a busy summer. There's lots of construction going on now. It, things are very exciting at it the is. zoo right now. But you might want to check out the train birthday party. It's the 55th anniversary of Z O and O Railroad. Got that. Should be a lot of fun train party. Each hour the zoo will randomly select a child to be their conductor on the train. Every kid wants to be the conductor. Mm -hmm. This is an opportunity to go out and sing happy birthday to the, the train and the railroad itself and enjoy some great rides. And then Father's Day, of course, the dads get one free train ride or one free admission. And then we want to remind people that uh, the zoo is open early and late every Wednesday in Nine June, days. July, and August. They call it, what do they call it? Wild Wednesdays. Wild Wednesdays. There you go. 9 a.m. <laughs> 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. should be a lot of fun. Great opportunity to enjoy special animal demonstrations from the animal encounter stage. And while you're there, just look around and look at the buildings. Look at what's mm -hmm. happening at our Lincoln Children's Zoo. And so many people in the community that you have to say thank you for. But John Chapo, Nick Cusick, everybody that's been behind the scenes with this project. We are so excited to have a 24-hour, seven days a week zoo coming to Lincoln. It's going to be great. A lot of fun. All right. Now, if this, there's something special just for adults at the zoo as well. This is a fundraiser. They're going to have uh, brews at the zoo, live music by the Brad Ramp Band. Mm -hmm. And beer and great uh, beverages from Zipline Brewery, Imperial Ales, Thunderhead Brewing, Lucky Bucket Brewing, and more, plus beer brats and burgers will be available for purchase at this event. You will not go away hungry. I guess this is our beer segment because we're going to be talking about beer and bicycles <laughs> next. This is the Tour de Brew. Um, this is a leisurely bike ride and pub crawl. The guest brewery Lagunita, am mm -hmm. I pronouncing yep. that right? Yep. And the local charity this month is Girl Power Inc. Great opportunity to register and get started at Mor Moran's uh, Liquor Works. Get a chance to move on to Cycle Works, Imperian Brewing Company. There's raffle tickets you, you work with along the way, and it's a great opportunity to enjoy a casual ride and enjoy some great brews. All right. You can also check out the fun at the Pioneers Park Nature Center. They're having bites, bikes, and bison. There'll be a four-mile flat route, 10-mile route, a 16-mile route out and back ride. Great opportunity to enjoy food and beverages from local vendors while overlooking the bison at Pioneers Park. All right. Now, if running is more your thing, you might want to participate in the Nebraska Football Road Race. This is this has uh, got some pretty cool prizes. This does, and this is 100% of the funds that will be raised at this go to Nebraska to UNMC's Pediatric Brain Cancer Research 5K and 1-mile fun run. This is neat. If you're one of the first 1,000 registered uh, people or participants in this event, you get to go and sit through one of Nebraska's first August scrimmages and practices. Your chance as the public to go watch the Husker football team as they get ready for the season. So not only is this benefiting a great, great local um, charity and, and Nebraska charity, it's also getting a chance to sneak a peek at the Huskers for the coming year. And it's not like there's no excitement around the Huskers this year. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look out, Lincoln. That first game is going to be something that we haven't seen excitement-wise for in a long, uh, quite a while. All right. And before we go, we want to re remind people of the farmer's markets that are all around town. Of course, the granddaddy of them all, the historic Haymarket Farmer's Market, mm -hmm. is Saturdays through October 14th. Sunday's farmer, mm -hmm. Sunday Farmer's Market at College View. This is sort of the reincarnation of the old, old Cheney, Cheney Road yep. Farmer's Market. Then you've got the F Street Neighborhood Farmer's Market there on Tuesdays. Tuesdays. And Fallbrook. Uh, several, uh, several dates there during the, during the summer. And then they've got a couple fall markets coming up as well. So... No excuse not to get out, eat well, and have a great time. Yeah, Lincoln loves its farmer's markets, and it's amazing how we've grown from having weekend farmer's markets now to having them during the week. You can get fresh produce for your meal that you're preparing at home and, and just supporting a lot of great local, locally grown products, which is which is a cool part of farmer's markets. And it's healthy. It is. Very healthy. Health is a good thing. <laughs> Tell us where people can find out more information. Lincoln.org is our website. We hope that you stop down and see us at 7th and P at our beautiful visitor center in the historic Haymarket or log on at lincoln.org and uh, just a lot to do in Lincoln. We just touch on a small amount of events that yes, we go do. on in our community each and every day. So get out and enjoy it this summer and uh, we hope to uh, see you very soon. Something for everyone. You bet.
All right, thank you so much, Jeff. And when we come back, we'll check out what's happening in Pinewood Bowl and the Pinnacle Bank Arena. But first, we're going to take a look at what's going on at some of Lincoln's great museums and galleries. Stay with us. Welcome back to Out and About. Tom Lorenz joins us now from Pinewood Bowl and Pinnacle Bank Arena. And we're going to start outdoors with Pinewood Bowl. Okay. How have the crowds been so far? C crowds have been really strong, Diane. We've had good weather. We haven't had any rain. Um, we started out with Tenderloins, which was a huge crowd, about 4,200. Great Pinewood Bluegrass Festival. We had a little mist that day, but uh, we still had a lot of folks come out, and the music was excellent. Um, that was really fun to see top-notch bluegrass bands playing mm -hmm. out there. Great Hank Williams setting. Jr., what a show. Uh, still a professional, still just awesome. And the crowd really got into it. He enjoyed it also. And then we finished up uh, last, uh, about a week ago Friday, with I Mom So Hard. Biggest crowd we've had out there for the year. Mm -hmm. uh, it was fun, it was a girls' night out. We had uh, a beautiful night and uh, the, the bowl held it all, and we were uh, uh, off to a great start. Well, before we talk about the other shows coming up, are you going to be booking any more this season? We'll have one more announcement for Pinewood Bowl, and that will put the number at 15 for the summer. And uh, it'll be the most we've ever done, but uh, all the shows are being supported strong, and uh, we're very happy to be able to put that much entertainment there. All right, well, let's talk about the lineup. Starting with June 18th, we have Primus and Mastodon coming. You know, Mastodon just won a Grammy. Primus is a longtime indie band. Uh, these two together will be a great night of indie rock and a lot of different styles. Um, they will be um, uh, really a, a unique setting for them uh, to be able to sit outside, get up close. The band will love it, and I'm sure the crowds will, will too. All right. Oak Ridge Boys are here June 21st. I remember when they were here 30 years ago for Farm Aid. You know, I remember years and years ago I started out in Hilton Coliseum, and we did um, a lot of shows with the Oak Ridge Boys. They're the nicest gentlemen on the road, great harmonies, and, you know, when they started off, they were really kind of a uh, a bluegrass band, but they also had some good rock and roll guitar with them. And so, so many hits over the years, so many great uh, memories with them. And Home Free, one of the greatest new uh, acapella type bands that are out there now. This will be a great evening of music. All right. Jackson Brown, I've got that on, marked on my calendar with a star on it. That'll be a great night. You know, for all the shows this summer, Jackson Brown is one of the most talked about shows. Uh, you know, a great artist who's written really uh, memorable songs for us throughout the years. Uh, tremendous performer. He'll have the whole band there. Uh, an evening with Jackson Brown will be a memorable night. All right, and then you get a break. Yeah, because we uh, the uh, annual summer musical mm -hmm. takes over the first part of, of July, and we talked a little bit about that with Jeff in the last segment. But you're right back at it at the end of July with Toby Keith. Right, Toby's coming out. It's probably the biggest show we've had out there. Uh, great country singer, you know, uh, this is years and years of uh, background with, with Toby, uh, a lot of great songs. Uh, we're really pleased to have him out there. This will be an excellent evening. He doesn't usually play this size venue, so we're very, very happy to get him. Uh, there are still some tickets available for that, and so I hope folks get a chance to come out and see the great Toby Keith. All right, just three days later, then you've got Pat Benatar, Nick Giraldo, and Rick Springfield. Well, that's a good trio. You know, we, we grew up listening to rock and roll, and, and these two did it as well as anybody. Uh, Pat Benatar, such a strong, strong female voice in the rock world. Uh, Neil Giraldo, her husband, who is a great guitarist. And then having Rick Springfield with some really memorable songs. It'll be a nice night to uh, enjoy underneath the stars. 
Okay, Steve Miller Band and Peter Frampton again, soundtrack of <coughs> my of my youth. You know, uh, when you talk about great guitarists, there's you know those two names are right at the top of the list. Uh, I was telling some guys here before that uh, years and years ago, I got to see Peter Frampton the summer they cut Frampton Comes Alive, and he is an excellent guitarist. Steve Miller, so many great songs. The two of them together. I'm looking forward to this one probably as much as any of them. And ZZ Top is coming back. That's that's a that, that, that's a fun show. You know, if, if if we keep talking about guitars, but if you're a guitar fan, this is the summer for guitar fans out at uh, Pinewood Bowl. ZZ Top, you know, a, a seminal band that has been out there knocking out the blues and rock. Uh, these guys really know how to do it for a lot of sound for three guys up on the mm -hmm. stage. We've had them in town a couple times. They've always been uh, sold out. So. Uh, this will be a really nice night for a hot August night to have them out at the bowl. All right, Earth, Wind and Fire is August 14th and I think this is going to be one of those nights where people are surprised at how many hits they've had. If you go back and look at their catalog, it's amazing. And um, you know they've been performing and writing new music for years and years. Um, what a great show they are. Uh, it, it is a visual show, it sounds great, uh, lots of lots of great hits and so much musicianship up on the stage. Um, I'm, I'm really, this is, you know, I keep saying this, but I, this is a fun summer. I get yes, as much is. fun out of this as anybody else. <laughs> and then winding up the shows that have been announced so far, Jason Mraz on August 30th and Need to Breathe, September 10th. A couple of really great uh, acts, you know, Jason Mraz wrote a lot of great songs, kind of in that folk uh, indie vein. And then uh, Need to Breathe, a great Christian uh, group that is out there with some really great openers. Uh, those will both be really nice ways to, it won't quite finish the, uh, the summer. We'll have one more announcement after that. All right, well let's move on to Pinnacle ba uh, Bank Arena and we're also going to be talking about some outdoor shows mm -hmm. um, that are mixed in as well, starting with Lincoln on the Streets. Nelly is coming to downtown Lincoln June 30th. Nelly and Juvenile and they'll be outside Pershing. You know, it's a great setting, Diane. When you look down the street, you've got the Capitol in the background. Uh, Nelly had, came and performed at, at uh, Pine, or excuse me, at Pershing several uh, years back and did a great job. He was there a couple of times. Uh, the soundtrack for those 80s kids, mm -hmm. you know, they'll come back and hear great music. Uh, it'll be a fun night. We did it last year with 311. We we're able to come back with Nelly this year. A beautiful setting and a lot of fun to be able to do it out in front of Pershing. All right, Lincoln loves its car shows and you've got a bunch of Mustangs coming to the festival a lot in July. You know, this is the national show. They only do uh, about three of these across the country. So to have all the newest Mustangs, to have the classic ones there, uh, they're, they're customized. This will be very unique because we're going to take uh, Arena Drive that kind of comes around to the north and to the west of Pinnacle Bank Arena close that. We'll have the cars on the street. Oh, cool. People will be able to wander over into the rail yard. We'll have some displayed up in the uh, plaza in front of Pinnacle Bank Arena. So it's going to be a very unique setting and uh, the cars are beautiful and it's just a fun day to walk around and, and see those classics. All right, back inside July 19th for Journey and Def Leppard. You know, if you took two of the biggest uh, headline names in rock and roll and put them together, this is what you've got, Journey and Def Leppard. Uh, they'll both play, you know, 90 to 100 minute sets of nothing but hit after hit after hit. Uh, they've been here before, they put on great shows, and to put them together uh, will be one of the hot nights for the summer. All right, let's go back outside, a couple more outside events. The fourth annual Haymarket in White is coming August 4th, and that's turned out to be a really popular and really beautiful event. It really is. You know, Haymarket in White, the setting is everything is in white. We have white tablecloths, people dress in white, we've got very colorful uh, you know white lights that kind of align it we do it in the plaza outside there's always a nice breeze we've got I think five different meals this year you're able to come over and have a picnic meal um, great music by high heels and it'll it's just a beautiful setting that night it's a dinner and dance people dance to the music afterwards um, we've got the or the pl the um, uh, lobby open so you can go inside and cool off a bit it's a great night and it's a great cause also to help support uh, the, the uh, Haymarket District. All right, hard to believe Rib Fest is in its 22nd year and this uh, this event is just getting bigger and better every year. You know, Diane, I'm not that old, but we could have <laughs> been here for 22 years, but uh, it's just a fun event every summer. Uh, we've got a new rib vendor this year. We've got some of your favorites. Uh, we brought the mummies back for Saturday night and you know, everyone loves the mummies. They'll be uh, lots of people to come out to see that. We're really focusing on great Lincoln bands and some great Lincoln talent uh, this year. We'll talk more about that in the uh, media as we keep coming up to it. But it's a fun, fun night. 
parking in the back side of the rib fest in our festival space and then we'll also have some salt dogs parking so it's very easy to get to mm -hmm. uh, just a fun fun night and the best the best food you'll ever want to have and the mummies are amazing they are and they're just uh, I'm, I'm kind of a mummies fan we travel <laughs> and see them a little bit and uh, it's always a new set but they're some of the best musicians around they're studio musicians some Grammy winners, uh, winners. They all have uh, makeup, so they kind of hide their mm -hmm. uh, ability, or they hide their names, but their ability shines through. That's right. All right, let's go back inside. UFC Fight Night, end of August, August 25th. We just had our UFC rep kind of walk through. We always do kind of a, a preview of that, and this is a big deal for Lincoln to get. This will be a Fox Sports One broadcast. It'll be live. Uh, lots of great fighters. We'll have a large card. Uh, this is uh, in the octagon, the best, the best, the best of the best fighters there that night. Uh, MMA continues to grow in popularity. Uh, it is a, uh, a very athletic sport, and this will be an outstanding night, and will showcase Lincoln and Nebraska across to the entire United States. All right, let's go to September sixth. Kids will be back in school and Metallica will be taking the stage. You know, the rock band that last summer broke all the records and toured in large uh, stadiums and, you know, just everyone wanted to see them. We've got them in the arena now. There's a 19 show run at the beginning. We're one of those 19 shows. It's an honor to have them there. Uh, Metallica with tremendous production, uh, great rock and roll, um, guys that you know, and uh, this will be one of those shows that we talk about for years and years. All right, October 2nd then, Odessa. Odessa is a uh, uh, EDM show. It's an EDM dance. Uh, they were nominated for several Grammys. Uh, last summer they took off and did a tremendous show. They're sold out already at, Ro at Red Rocks for the summer. Uh, they're bringing their show into uh, Pinnacle Bank Arena. Just like Zach Brown, uh, they're going to do some days of rehearsal beforehand, so we'll be able to uh, really bond with the guys, and uh, this will be an outstanding show. All right. Another faith event is coming October 4th, the Overcomer Tour. Do these kinds of events draw more of a regional crowd? They draw from all over. They'll draw from quite a long ways away. This is Dr. Jeremiah, uh, head, of, um, um, uh, head of the ministry here. He's a, he talks about prophecy. Uh, it, is a, it will draw from several states around. We did them once before. They had nearly 10,000 people in the arena. Wow. So this will be a great night and a very interesting night. I hope folks come out and uh, hear his message. All right, just a few days later then, Fall Out Boy is taking it the arena stage. Fall Out Boy, you know, a classic kind of a, a millennial band. Uh, they've had a ton of hits. Uh, they continue to put out new music. Uh, this will be a fun, fun night. Sold quite well already. And uh, when students come back, I'm sure they're gonna be snatching up the rest of those tickets. All right, a big new event, Leonard Skinner. We've got them on the first leg of their two-year farewell tour. I bet that's selling pretty well. It is. It's just going to go on sale. It's just ready to go on sale right now. We've already had some pre-sale things out, and uh, uh, this is their farewell tour. They've been doing this for, I think, about 50 years, and um, they are a strong, strong band. Uh, they love what they do, and uh, we're glad to have them coming to Lincoln. We'll have Jamie Johnson as an opener, and Jamie is a star in his own right, so the two of them together will make one great night of Southern rock and roll. Okay, Fleetwood Mac is coming October 12th. Fleetwood Mac, the seminal band that has just been uh, everywhere, and, and it's every song that they play, you know, uh, strong, strong background, great musicians. Uh, they were here a few years back. We're glad to have them back. Um, this will be um, a really, really big night for uh, Lincoln and for Pinnacle Bank Arena. Again, their tour isn't hitting everywhere, and we're very glad to have them in Lincoln. All right, and then the very next night, Thomas Rhett is at Pinnacle Bank Arena. I like those back-to-back -back shows. Once we get in Do the you? role, <laughs> they just they roll right along. Thomas Rhett, who has been here a, a couple times as an opener, is back as a headliner. Over 10 number one hits, uh, strong, strong artists. We're going to see Thomas Rhett for a long, long time. We're going to be talking about him like we do Toby Keith, and uh, this will be a terrific night. This one's been on sale for a while, and it's sold very heavily. There are some tickets left, but uh, by the time we get there, this will be a sellout. I would think there'd be some challenges with those back-to-back -back shows. You know, as long as you don't mind uh, not sleeping, we're in good shape. <laughs> so, yeah, Fleetwood Mac will get out about 2 in the morning, and we'll roll Thomas right in about 8, so all it'll right. work out well. Thank you, Tom, for losing sleep so that we can all have a good time. You know, this is so <laughs> much fun, and thank you, Lincoln, for supporting us so strongly. All right. Thank you. That is all for this month's Out and About show. I want to thank all the guests that we had for today. Now, if you've missed any of the events, stay tuned. We'll be running a list right after the show. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you out and about.